Hi, this is Bob747, another tutorial from uh, Autodesk Inventor Professional 2010. Um, this tutorial is going to be on the sweep function. And uh, okay, so you just make a new part. Um, once you've done that part, uh, you select like a profile that you want, the kind of shape that you want to be swept across the path that you select later. So I'm just going to do a circle right now. You can do whatever shape you want as usual. But I'm going to do a circle. And then when you go into home home view to get isometric, uh, you have to go down to the origin to get a perpendicular wait. Uh, okay, look at it. And then you get something that's perpendicular to your thing. Like that, then you look at, and then you do a new sketch. Okay, so this sketch is going to be the path which um, your drawing will follow. So you can have an arc, you can have several different arcs, like all the different kind of angles to each other. Like that. No, I can't have that because that means uh, it'll fold over on itself. You need to have them um, sufficiently spaced from the beginning so it doesn't uh, kink over on itself. So you finish that, finish sketch, and then now you've got two unconsumed sketches, as you can see here sketch one, sketch two. So sketch one is my profile and sketch two is my path. Right, so then we're going to sweep and select our path. Cause, oh, it's, de it's um, automatically selected my profile because it's the first uh, unconsumed sketch that's a full shape. Like a f um, it's got a space that takes root. So now I select my path and it automatically does it. Wow. What could that be? That could be a candy cane. That could be a hoover, pipe, anything. So, there we go. That's the path for you. It's Bob747 Tutorials. Thank you for watching.